Hello everyone, welcome to Joe and Zach's Survival. Uh, this morning I bugged out about 6 o'clock, headed up to the tent here, about a 250 mile drive, so got up here around 11.30. And uh, I'm going to be doing a couple of wild edible videos this weekend, but didn't really have it in me today. So, But one thing that I always wanted to do, and I'm going to do it today now, is every time Zach and I come up here, or Zach and I and Sarah, or the whole family came up, we always have to bring up butter and usually we use one stick of butter and I've got to keep it in the refrigerator here. Well, if it was in a, in a survival situation and I'm bugging out just to get the hell up here and get away from the cities and everything like that, I'm not probably not going to be able to stop off and get any butter. So it'd be nice if we had it here and it could be stored, which I, you know, you can't store regular butter. So what I'm going to do today on this video is we're going to can butter. And I'm going to can it, I, you know, I'm going to can it in these little four ounce jars which is a little bit of butter, but at least if I open it and we use it, you know, it'll last for, I mean, it would last for a while. You know, when I was a kid, there was always butter in the butter dish on the counter. And I don't know how long it lasted, and I guess I can kind of remember when it didn't really taste all that great. But we just used it till it was gone. Well, now it's always in the fridge, and then you got to use your shed spread if you want to take it out of the fridge to do toast, because your butter isn't melted enough to use it, and it's just ugh, a bunch of crap. So anyway, I'm going to can butter. And then I can leave it up here, and it has a very long shelf life. And I'll have it up here all the time. I don't have to stop and get it. I don't have to have a refrigerator. Nothing. So let's do this video, and let's can some butter. All right, so what I did is I, when I was at the store coming up here, getting food, I bought the cheapest butter I could get. Um, I, I like salted. I always buy salted. So what we're going to do is get this going. And I want to keep that on a fairly low heat so we don't burn this. Well, maybe not so low that it quits. And I'll get these put in here. Now, since I'm doing just the four ounce jars, because I just want a little bit, I can always open up a second one. But when I'm done with it, you know, after it starts to taste bad or whatever, of course, you're going to have to throw it out once it's open. So I got the smallest jars that I could get. So I'm going to get some of these in here. And since I have no clue how many... Uh, one of these it takes to fill up a jar. I'll just start with one pound, and if I need to do more, I'll do more. It doesn't take very long to melt butter and let it simmer for a while. So let's take a look at this here. You can see I've got the butter inside there melting real slow. And let's go outside and I'll show you what i got going on out there. Okay, so what I've decided to do here is um, I've got the old Coleman Camp oven out here. And what we're going to do, we're going to put these jars in here, and we want to heat them, heat it up to right around 200, 250 degrees. And what this is going to do is two things. It's going to kill any germs that are in there. And second of all, it's also going to keep them from cracking when I pour in the hot butter. So let's put those in there. And we'll turn this up just a little bit. And then with our lids, we're going to put them in water. We don't want to put the jars in water because we don't want them to have any water inside of those jars. So we're going to let these sit in here and simmer for two reasons. One, the germs will get out of them. And two, it makes the seals seal real nice. We don't have to mix them up because that's kind of a small pan. And let's run inside now because we have to stir that butter or it'll burn. Zach decided that he didn't want to come up this weekend, which was fine. I had some other things I had to do, so I brought Max the dog here, and he's the one that's keeping me company. Now, there's kind of two different schools of thought when they're doing this. Um, everybody wants to get it boiled, get it, you know, so it's all melted, and get it simmering for a good five minutes. One school of thought is you skim off. This is actually the fat that's in the butter. You skim that off and toss that. And the other school of thought is you leave it in there, put it in your jars, but then when your jars are starting to cool, you're going to have to shake them every five minutes or so so that the butter stays mixed up like it was when it was in the stick. Now there's part of me that says, well, you know, if I take the fat off, the butter, I'll have these nice, clean-looking, clear, nice butter looking in the jar. And there's a second part of me that says, hey, all I'm doing here is canning frickin' butter. So who cares what it looks like? It'll look like a stick of butter in there, and it'll be a lot easier. And I think I'm going to go with the second batch. You know, I think I'm just not going to bother taking the fat off because I'm not going to get it all off anyway. You have to make sure that we stir this constantly once it starts to finally boil so you don't burn it or get brown butter. Well, this is about ready to go here. I got it 
been boiling for, I don't know, five minutes or so. And the more I think about it, you know, in a little four ounce jar, even if you didn't shape it and it separated in there, who cares? It's a four ounce jar. Put your knife in there and mix it up when you open it. Now, one thing that would have been nice is if this would have been a plastic spoon. I think I would have liked that better. And if this would have been a stainless steel pan. I don't want any Teflon in my butter, but at the same time, this is going to work just fine. So I'm going to run out and get those jars out of the out of the Coleman oven and bring them in, and then let's can this stuff up. I just learned something here. I went out and I started getting the jars in here. And look now, this boiled for another just a minute. I just left it on here low. And now all, everything is, is just kind of like one color. So just make it in there, leave it in there long enough until it's just about like this. It's like that foam stuff went to the bottom. It's still in there, but it's smaller. Holy crap, they're hot. Okay. Now it's time to pour the butter in there. I'm sorry, I'm at the bug out location. I am not at home, nor do I have any good canning stuff up here, so this is how it's going in. And now you're supposed to leave a half inch of headspace. I have no idea why. You're not putting it into any water bath canner, but if that's what they say you're supposed to have, then that's what we're going to do. grab the lids. I brought the lids in here. Remember, these have just been outside simmering in the water just to keep them warm. And that warm water also, this little red rim around here, it kind of moistens it up so that it seals better. I don't know. I think, oh man, that's so hot. I want to wipe this top because I don't think that butter, which is almost an oil, would seal very well. And now, unlike doing um, pickles or something like that, where we want the lid to be loose, I'm going to tighten these down pretty good. I'm not trying to push anything out. I just don't want anything to come back in, I think. I guess this is kind of how I tighten all of them. It doesn't have to be super tight. Okay, so we have four done right there. I'm going to continue um, with some more jars. I think I have seven jars up here, and I'll get them all filled up. And we'll wait and see if those seal. Well, we'll fill up our last three here. Now, as far as the shelf life of canned butter, all you can find is it says indefinite, indefinite. Well, I don't know about that, but we'll say it lasts a long time. And I heated these jars outside on the on the barbecue there simply because it's like seven well it was earlier in the upper seventies. I didn't need that extra heat here in the tent, so otherwise we could have done it on the wood stove or on the cook stove. I got an A on here, but wow, oh, those things are very hot. Well, the butter is done. You can see it's all, whatever, coagulated down to butter again. Um, next time we come up, uh, Zach will be with me, and we'll give it a try. I mean, there's no reason to try it right now. We just did it, so let's let it sit for a while. And Every one of them is sealed good, so I'm just going to throw it up on the shelf, and uh, we're going to see how this works out. And when we try it, I'll do an update video, and we'll see how it tastes. So thanks a lot for watching the Joe and Zach Survival Channel.